Hey everybody, what's up? It's in this one up. So we got the Steam Deck here. I'm currently plugged in via HDMI and being captured via my EVGA XR1 Lite. Uh, this is just plugged in via USB-C via this device and it goes out the HDMI. So uh, I can control it with my Steam Deck right here. So if I hit the buttons and stuff, you know, like I just hit the Steam button, it pops up my library and all that good stuff. So I wanna, what do I want to show you here is this, under the power setting. So this is what we're going to talk about. Under the power setting, there's this really interesting option called desktop mode. And I wasn't, someone mentioned in a previous comment on my does it upscale video, which it does upscale. It even upscaled in that video I show. You can see the user interface when I'm picking the games that filled the screen. When I'm in the user interface uh, for the actual pinball too, at one point it filled the screen. So it, it can, but when you go into the options, it says it's restricted to 1280 by 800. That's because it, what you need to do is essentially go into desktop mode, select the monitor that you've just added, and then tell it that that's your primary monitor. And then when you launch games from that desktop mode, it will launch them on your bigger monitor. And then you can increase the resolution uh, from there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna switch to this desktop mode, which kind of does something weird. It's gonna extend the displays um, but the cool thing is here is I'm going to do essentially what I just talked about, but in a weird way, uh, it's going to say there's no video. It's going to pop up. So you can't see it right now. It says that steam is updating. We're going to let it finish doing its thing here for a second. And then I want to show you, I can control this mouse with the little trackpad here. Um, and you can see the steam OS and it looks like a, you know, a standard task bar and some options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the screen that you see my primary screen, okay? So just give me one second and then you'll be able to see what I'm showing you here. We're gonna go ahead and slide on over that. I gotta go do 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 All right, come on, there we go. And we're gonna come down, we're gonna launch this. So I just launched this interface here that kind of gives you stuff like appearance, your background, shortcuts, the startup and shutdown, more like a lot of window based kind of user interface options. You can change the wallpaper and all that stuff. But what we want is way down at the bottom here. So if I take my mouse um, and we go ahead and grab the slider, we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and select a display and monitor. And now I have two displays listed. I can move it around and stuff. Uh, let me make this the primary so you can all see what I'm doing here. And we go down and hit apply. So now you can see the user interface is on my screen. We're gonna go ahead and drag this on over so you guys can see it on my screen now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. So here it is. We're going to make it bigger so everybody can see it. So this is my capture card that you're seeing here right now. So I could actually tell it. Let's pretend this is an actual monitor, okay? So my monitor that I have selected on the right, the big one, is not the Steam Deck interface, okay? I just, that little option down below here that says make primary, I can check this box. And then when I launch into a game, it's gonna make this the primary monitor. And then I'm gonna be able to launch games from this and we'll be able to see the game in a larger size. So this works a lot like Windows. I can come down here to the Steam icon, I can select it, I can pick a game in the list and just launch it. And this is still an extended display, there's just nothing going on on this screen right now, but I am still controlling it with this trackpad. Now, I do have this device that lets me plug in USB, so I could plug in a mouse and stuff, make my life a little easier, but I like life difficult. <laughs> so we're not going to do that, but just follow along. Uh, so we're going to launch the Pinball FX real quick. It takes a few seconds. It seems like games launch a lot slower in this desktop mode via Linux than they do when you're launching them just from the Steam operating system that's built into the Steam Deck and not this desktop mode. So I just wanted to give people more opportunities to have a better understanding of this. I'm learning as I'm going, so there's things that I'm learning. Things aren't always clear. Uh, 
a nice commenter did say that there was a desktop mode. He thought you could increase it. I was looking all through the UI. I never would have thought it was in the power set setting, but I never gave up. And I was like, well, they didn't say that for any reason. So we found it. We were able to set it. And there you go. So now we've just launched our game on this larger screen. And now we can control with the Steam Deck. I could plug in a USB based controller, plug it, I could play it that way. So now I could play it on my big screen from my Steam Deck. And this was just a $15.99 device. So I hope the Steam Deck um, dock is pretty cheap because this was pretty darn cheap and it seems to be working really well. I can even charge my device from this. So we're connecting. I don't think the Pinball FX server is up right now, so it might give us an error message here. We're gonna wait for it, see what it does. I know that the pinball game is going crazy in the background. Let's turn that way down. Sorry about that. So the pinball game's up now. Let's go ahead and launch into it. So this is it. I got, there's nothing on this screen. It's filling this screen. Um, we can go here, I can go into the options and I can go to the video. And right now it's displaying at 2560 by 1440. But I can keep increasing this. I think that thinks this monitor right now is like 4K, which it's not a 4K monitor, but since I'm going through OBS, I can fold it into thinking it's a 4K monitor. But my actual monitor is a 2560 by 1440. And if I wanted to, I could display it at this right there. I can leave it in full screen mode and off I go. And I can either use this device to control the game or I can plug an external controller in and you've got yourself a freaking computer. Like, and you don't have to be bound to this screen at all if you if you don't want to wait for the dock. This is a good solution. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out and stuff. And uh, I hope you liked it.